Good morning everyone! Welcome back to third grade here with Mrs. Valdez in Arizona. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Charlotte and I teach third grade in Arizona. So I just wanted to walk you guys through what we're up to today here in third grade. We are still reading Charlotte's Web. We are on chapter 15 as of today and we are also studying the three regions of Arizona. So today, this morning, we have already taken our morning survey, we've already done our breakfast, and we've already done our social studies. Right now, what we are working on is taking notes on the three regions of Arizona. So what we've been doing is just kind of reading and taking notes as we read. And so we do two column notes here because we're an avid school. So we just have separated the text into sections and topics, and then we take notes on what we've read. So we are almost done with this. Hopefully by tomorrow, the kids will be completely done taking notes on the three regions. Then I will give them a quiz on the three regions and then Wednesday and Thursday we will make salt dome maps from flour and salt and we will make actual physical maps of Arizona which will be super fun and exciting. So right now the kids are at music. After that we will begin reading Charlotte's Web and finishing up our chapter work for that. Then we will be moving into math stations and I'll show you guys what the stations are this week. Then we have lunch, reading stations, again I'll show you what those are recess and then we will finish up working on our animal projects. These are due on Monday the 20th. So I'm actually gonna send the boxes home with the kiddos today and they won't bring them back until Monday. And then in class they will be working on writing their animal books because there's a two part component to this project. So for math stations today, I have a prodigy station and then they're finishing up their fraction pizzas from last week. Then I have a telling time task card station and I will show you guys around the room. There are two task cards taped up in the same place and they're the same number. One of them is telling time, so they just look at the clock and tell me what time it is. And then the second one is a subtraction center and this one is checked with a QR code. So they actually have my iPad or a computer station and they grab the computer, they scan the code and then they check their answer that way. So that is exciting. So there's um, Prodigy and Fraction Pizza, there's a Telling Time station and a Subtraction station, and then I also need, okay, so there's a Time Task Card station, two days of Fraction Pizza slash Prodigy, one day of QR Task Card, and then an Area and Perimeter Scoot, which I need to go print right now. So it'll be very similar to the Task Card, except for the Scoot will be placed out on the desks, and the kids will move around from desk to desk, and do the scoot that way. So I need to go print that right now and then everything else is ready to go. I'm really struggling with furniture in my room right now. There's a few things that I'm getting rid of for next year and they're gonna be going next door into this classroom because my team teacher is actually leaving so there will be a new teacher in there. And um, so I'm moving a few things into that room for that teacher. So I have like an abundance of furniture right now and I actually just brought in a refrigerator for next year because my team teacher is taking that refrigerator. So I have this like big old brown refrigerator which I think I'm gonna paint with chalk paint and make it like a fun spot for things. But I'm really struggling with what to do with furniture next year. I've done a lot of furniture moving already and I don't know if I'm in love with where I've put everything. So I might be re-evaluating where I've put furniture. I might actually move this big brown thing back up front and put my desk back over here. I feel like I liked it a lot better that way. And since I'm doing flexible seating, well, not really, I can just move this table group up front where I just kind of flip-flop what's going on here. This I wanna get rid of, totally get rid of and this I wanna move out of that place. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I really would like to just eliminate the whole teacher desk situation, but I realize that I have to have a space to keep all of my stuff, and it's just how it is. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but i um, trying to figure it out. <laughs> I have some time um, when my kids aren't here because I have pretty much everything done. I need to do grading, and that's kind of it. Um, not even so much grading, but just entering grades. So, um, also my bookshelf, this black one, 
broke and I need to either find a staple gun to fix it or I'm gonna have to pitch it because it's like leaning. The back wall is like off or something so it's just leaning. But anyway, I'm gonna go make those copies of that area and perimeter scoot and then the kids will be done with music and we will progress throughout the day. Also, yes, I did get my hair cut and I love it. Hi everyone, welcome back, happy Tuesday. So this morning I am working on my student gifts and this year on our last day of school we have tie-dye day. So I decided it would be super fun to buy my students some t-shirts and we would tie-dye them together probably on Monday uh, next week or Tuesday next week. I just ordered my tie-dye kit. I just got the tulip um, party tie-dye kit. I'll show you what it looks like if I can find um, the link. But I just purchased it on Amazon and it was $15 and it did up to 36 projects. So I decided to just get two of them because the same kit at Michael's was $35 and I ended up getting two of them for like 33 bucks. So anyway, I got the Tulip tie-dye party kit. I got two of them and then after school today, if I have time, I'm gonna run to Walmart and just buy like a couple of packs of the like white Hanes kids t-shirts. Um, in my morning survey today, I'm asking the kids what size t-shirt they wear, and I figure if I buy them all bigger ones, then they can wear them for a while. And then I also thought about trying to find a way to put like third grade Mrs. Valdez on the back of them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, probably not, unless I buy like a stencil and like spray paint them black first before we dye them, which I could easily do, but I would have to buy stencils. So anyway, that's what I'm working on this morning. Wanted to share with you guys these adorable earrings I got from Alan J Dreams on Etsy. I will link them down below, but oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. They're like this little green palm frond, and I thought they would be perfect with my Lipstick and Littles um, Teaching is a Walk in the Park t-shirt. Also, these frames are from I Buy Direct. They're the Myrtle. Um, style. So anyway, today we have a lot of things going on. We need to finish up our region notes. We have an assembly in the afternoon. We are watching the orchestra concert. And then you guys, today I have to go get my car's oil changed in between school and the orchestra concert tonight. My oil change is scheduled for 4 p.m., which I should easily be able to get there by 4 p.m. because it's only like a couple of miles away. Oh boy, I'm just coloring all over myself. The dealership is only a couple of miles away, so I figured I could probably make it there and back since the concert doesn't start till 6. Kids get here at 5.45, so I've got about an hour and 45 minutes to get an oil change. And last time they took like 30 to 45 minutes. So hopefully I can have enough time to get my oil changed and then go pick up those t-shirts so that we can start tie-dyeing next week. And yeah. <sighs> okay, it is 7.58 and I have duty in about eight-ish minutes. So I'm gonna go to the restroom get my walkie-talkie, get everything I need for duty, and then I will head on outside and see you guys in a bit. Oh, hello. Hey guys, so it is now 5.30 and I'm still at work. One of my committee responsibilities for this school year is the band and orchestra concert. So I am here getting ready to walk on over to the band concert. Making sure my hair is still sitting in one spot. I went and got Subway because I had a gift card. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup a little bit here. I got the bacon chicken ranch sub. It was so delicious. Normally I don't eat Subway, but I had a free foot log. So when you have free food, you eat it. 
Anyways, I was just sitting here on my computer playing with Google Earth because we're getting ready to do our salt dough maps and I wanted to show the kids Google Earth because I wanted them to see all of the different regions of Arizona from like an actual geographical standpoint. So um, I thought that was really cool to be able to show them. But anyway, I'm gonna probably end this vlog right here. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this week. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye guys.